Okay, so in this video we're going to go through um, how to use drawing tools, so shapes and colour fill and gradients. We want to be able to add um, shapes that look really good um, in Photoshop. So we have a front cover. Um, I'd like to have some boxes on here that we can have some text on, similar to the special offer over here. Um, so we're going to use the rectangle tool, or U, and remember you can toggle between all of these by pressing shift and U. Um, so shift and U will go through all of those shapes. I'd quite like a rounded rectangle. Um, I'll draw it here. At the moment it seems to be locked to... So at the moment it's locked to be in proportion. So let's try again. This time hold down shift and it won't be in proportion. So it's a pretty nasty colour. You can change the radius around the edge up here, the radius, let's make it slightly smaller um, and drag it again, something like that. Um, to change the colour, we need to make sure we're drawing a shape, not a path at the top. Um, and I'll go for a solid white colour. We can change the stroke to be any colour. The stroke is the colour around the edge. I quite liked black. And then the thickness of that stroke and even the style of it if you want to, but I want to keep it fairly solid. We've already talked about the opacity for the layer. We can change that if you want to be able to see the autumnal scene a little bit through the background. I don't just yet. But I'd like a gradient fill, which is the same colour scheme as either the autumnal colours or the kind of pink and orange that I've got on my special offer. So in the fill, um, let's go gradient, choose one with two colours, and then you can change the two colours. So I'll double click on that black and use the eyedropper to get that pink and then this white bit I'll double click on to get that um, yellow and then we can change the um, direction something like that that looks okay um, this looks a slightly more exciting shape that we've got here so I want to add to that here I'll, I'll get um, this time a normal rectangle I'll put it over the top maybe transform it ever so slightly like so. And I'd like to merge it so there's just one layer, sorry, one line all the way around the edge. So I might get a combination of um, shapes. Um, uh, I think this is going to look particularly nasty, but just to show that it's possible, let's get a custom splat shape down at the bottom. All of these all joined together. It's going to look horrible, but just to prove that it's possible. We get all of these shapes together, shift and click, and then layer, combine shapes and unite them so that it just becomes all one. You can now move them as one. That's with V, the selection tool, or A, the sub-selection tool, lets you move individual points. Even though they've been merged, you can adjust them. And I know that looks horrible. I really don't like that star. Control, Alt, and Z. Let's um, take them away. Maybe just combine these. Um, so we need the V tool, the normal selection, to be able to select the different ones, and A to be able to adjust them separately. That was layer and combine shapes. You can play around with them by punching holes in things like subtract and unite and get the overlap, but the unite one is probably the most useful one. If you want a custom shape that is any shape, then the pen tool is worth playing around with. If you click and let go, you can get any old shape with a sharp line. Or, if you click and drag, you can get curves. Um, so, I don't know, if I want... Um, I don't really know. I'm going to try and get a curve to follow the contours of the runner. Click and drag to get the curves working. That kind of thing. And you can change the stroke, you can change the fill, you can combine all of those shapes together um, layer, combine shapes, unite shapes, I know that looks disgusting but it shows you what is possible. All right.